Hey everyone, it's me again. It's Ivonne Emilia Lisondo. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, it's been whew, it's been a very chaotic few weeks um, for me and uh, us witchy gypsies. Kind of just we've been on survival mode for a long time, and so now I'm hoping that it's gonna change. But anyways. Um, Part of the reason why I'm excited about the potential change um, coming our way is because Jupiter is in Pisces now. Um, Jupiter ingressed into Pisces last week. I didn't have an opportunity to um, let you all know about that at that time, but this is something really significant. Now, it doesn't stay in Pisces very long. It moves back into Aquarius. I'm gonna talk about that, but what I wanna do first is I wanted to pull the Oracle card. I haven't done one of these for y'all in a while. So let's just kind of get a feeling for what the, whoops, what the message is. I obviously have not done this in a while because my cards are kind of all over the place. All right, so let's take a look. Whoa, well, that one kind of popped out. What is this? Oh, so sweet. Look at that beautiful card. Compassion, 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 compassion. I hope that's what it says because I don't have my glasses on. That's what it says. Compassion. All right. So then, you know, again, these Oracle cards are just about um, giving you the opportunity to sit and ponder and inside, or maybe it's a message that you need to hear, or maybe it's encouragement that you need to hear. Um, and it's about compassion, right? And so with everything going on, especially, you know, around the world and everywhere, who could, who could not use um, some compassion? So maybe try to spread that around better than spreading like germy stuff, right? Why don't we spread compassion? Anyhow, all right, so I am really excited because Jupiter, the planet of expansion, good fortune, the fortune, the philosopher, the um, enthusiast, the seeker of knowledge is moving into one of its home signs, and that is Pisces. The other home sign is Sagittarius. Now, Pisces energy is water. And I always describe Pisces water being like a lake, right? It just kind of, it's there, it's relaxing, it's imaginative, it's enticing um, because it's just there, if that makes any sense. And like a lake, right? Um, if a wind comes over the lake, then it ripples in the water and it just moves. It's very mutable. It just kind of goes wherever the wind blows. But if there isn't any wind, it just kind of stays, right? It's, it's still. So it's not fixed. It's still. Big difference. Fixed is, mm, we're staying right here. We're not moving. Still is, I'm intentionally not moving. Anyhow, so the planet of expansion and good fortune and the enthusiast, right? Um, when it comes into Pisces, it is a super fortunate time for you to start implementing those things that pertain to Piscean energy in your chart. And if you don't know your birth chart, you're more than welcome to contact me. We can have a consultation done. Um, but even if you don't want a consultation, just knowing right now that collectively Jupiter in Pisces is really a time where things ease up a bit, okay? Um, we've been, I mean, we don't even want to talk about last year and this year has had its own, you know, changes and challenges and ups and downs and everybody's kind of all over the place at, the, at this time. Well, I hope everybody's all over the place because I'm all over the place. So if you're not all over the place, then I got a problem. But anyways, so back to Jupiter. So Jupiter is that time of, if you're wanting to implement things, if you're wanting to start things, um, this is a good time to do it because the energy is in your favor, so to speak. Now, I mentioned that Jupiter just does not stay in Pisces very long. Uh, it is actually ingressing into Pisces from Aquarius. And on June 22nd or so, it stations. In other words, it means it slows down or the energy of it slows down. And then it moves retrograde right back into Aquarius. Now, the difference between Aquarian energy and Piscean energy is that Aquarius energy is air, right? And it is fixed air. It is... Um, a little bit more stubborn. Sometimes you Aquarians um, may understand this. And Aquarius is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is about rules and regulations and boundaries. Whereas Jupiter is expansive. It's like, let's move beyond those boundaries. And so in Aquarius, Jupiter has to pay attention to what Saturn is saying. And so Saturn says, hey, you wanna build those boundaries? 
you may want to make them big because they're expansive boundaries okay so that really doesn't help us when we're trying to move forward and move beyond um, or establish something with good fortune does it no it doesn't so jupiter moving into pisces uh, really allows the energy to flow much more smoothly for at least the next few what is it about six months six weeks or so then when jupiter ingresses back into um, Aquarius, we're gonna kind of feel the halt of that energy. We may feel like stagnation or things may not move forward as um, smoothly or quickly as, as they were before, but um, do not fret because I think it's around um, December 28th or so of this year, 2021, Jupiter officially ingresses back into Pisces and will be there for about a year. So. Next year should be a lot more smoothly with that Jupiter energy in Pisces, right? Anyhow, um, in your individual chart, what you want to do is find where that Pisces um, area falls into your chart. In my chart, it, um, it occurs in the 11th house, okay? The 11th house is um, about um, friendships, big friendships, um, networking, logistics, all the stuff that's like kind of watery to me, but it also represents your goals and your dreams. So guess what I am going to be doing from now until June 22nd, for sure. I am going to start setting plans for making changes to my goals, my dreams, my hopeful future accomplishments. That includes making changes to some of the services that I'm going to be offering. Uh, that includes, uh, you know, setting a plan to you know, reach out to you all more. Um, I'm not the best, most tacky, tacky, <laughs> I'm not the best, most techy person, but um, I'm going to make an effort to go out there. And that is really what um, Pisces energy in the 11th house represents. If you want to learn more about your chart and where Pisces energy or just your chart in general, please reach out to me. You could find me at spiritualessence.com, that's spiritual-essence.com, or at witchy gypsies. Yes, witchy gypsies. We love to post stuff about that just makes fun of the world in general. Not necessarily people, well, sometimes people, but not in a hurtful way. Anyhow, I hope everyone is having a good week. Enjoy your Jupiter in Pisces, and we will see you soon. Blessed be.